Hi there. This video is a dive into construction of the fuselage and engines for my LEGO model interference. It's the final video, joining a build overview, cockpit, prong, and wing videos I've already published. There's a companion parts list and model file available at galacticplastics.com. All right, I'm going to do the uh, top of the fuselage, and uh, that starts with uh, this assembly. So uh, it's, uh, it's just a number, these uh, blue bits are all brackets, uh, some too high, some one, uh, one high over on this side, uh, and that's carrying uh, these uh, cheese uh, slopes that later are going to connect to the top of the wing section, which is going to come down off of this. Uh, and that's projected upwards, uh, some uh, bows here, this uh, wedge, bows coming down. Uh, and then uh, just a little bit interesting uh, back here, some brackets, get a stud direction change in a nice strong way, uh, because in just a moment, the back of the uh, top of the fuselage is going to come off of this. Uh, but into this uh, is going to come this unit, and this is a uh, just a simple way of getting a half plate offset between these, these um, uh, bow sections. Uh, so um, you're using headlight and brackets, and then some uh, hinge bricks, and this will connect up uh, up into the underside here, like so. Okay, and now we have a, a slope uh, coming off that is going to project downwards. So, so this inside for the moment. Uh, the next unit for this one is this, and uh, so. The, the, this unit is five studs wide, and so I've used these Technic uh, plates here uh, as the center, and there's some plates and tile work here that's uh, coming down then into a, a brick with side studs with some headlights on it, which are then transitioning into uh, this section. Uh, this is a two by three plate with a cutout inside of it, uh, this dark tan uh, or um, uh, color uh, bit. I guess it's a fleshy tone color. Uh, the medium nougat, I think, is the color for the, that this is in. Uh, and then on top of this are uh, two uh, tiles with a uh, one center stud uh, up into a the back of a, a headlight brick a bracket and so forth. And so uh, this is going to uh, this is going to form the connection back into the ship later. And here and then these tiles are spacers. Okay, so slightly complex, <laughs> and it continues. Uh, so this uh, little unit is a, um, a series of uh, brackets, one by one brackets. Uh, there's a jumper here, a plate, uh, and then a projected plate at the back that has a, a tile with a, a bar on top. And uh, this unit then will come into uh, here from behind, and the bar will come into the uh, Technic uh, plate. So it looks like this. And then into this, uh, I have a uh, uh, two versions, two of these uh, bits that are coming on the side. So there is a, um, maybe look at it this way. So studs going this direction, headlights and brackets, uh, that's projecting upwards to a plate. Uh, and then uh, there is a, a, a stud reversal uh, using a clip uh, into an inverted 33 degree slope. Uh, that's picked up a couple of um, uh, roller skates and another slope, and then that looks like it's then. I, I can rotate it so that, that looks that's then facing the other direction uh, for this cheese grater. And uh, these two uh, will then come up around the outside and connect it on these studs like this. Uh, into that uh, stack is a green 2x4 plate, some other plates, a bunch of jumpers, and uh, this unit will then uh, cinch this up, and the back of the jumpers will come here, and this is going to get it from the 5 wide to 4 wide going forward. All right, so looking like this now. And this is facing the rear of the ship, and uh, we have a couple of, of uh, elements here that then of units here that go side by side of the tail of that top vertical stabilizer. 
Uh, they look like this from this side. From this side, maybe easier to see. So uh, studs going this direction. Um, the uh, uh, slopes, inverted slopes, a cheese grater, etc. Uh, and then we're projecting out connection uh, for the main ship uh, here uh, off this brick with side stud. Uh, around the other side, uh, that is also uh, an area where they would then have this stud reversal happening, uh, which is in, uh, um, uh, cut up into... Uh, anyway, looks like this. <laughs> so uh, two of these. And uh, these will come in on the outside into these interior studs here. So it looks like that. And when it happens, uh, it's uh, very pleasing. So there's an 18 degree uh, cut uh, uh, coming off the top of this. It all looks very uh, sharp. And the same thing over on this side. Okay, now you can see the channel where the, the uh, t uh, that tail fin is going to go. Two more little small units uh, look like this. These are just going to sit along the outside. Uh, so uh, studs up and a um, uh, just a, a plate, a one by two plate and a grill tile on top. And these two, uh, this will come in like this. And when it does that, it's sitting on top of this door rail down below. And this happens here like that. Okay, so this is the back unit. And then that will connect back up into this top of the fuselage earlier. And uh, into the, uh, the yellow will go into the green. Yeah. And when it does that, uh, we get some lines and recess, a little bit of interest here in this blue section. Okay. All right, so that's the top of the fuselage. So from below, this side. Okay, and this is gonna connect in on the jumpers here and here and here. Okay, let's build an engine. Uh, this is the, uh, I've pulled out of the port engine. And so you can see the three uh, thrusters uh, and the there's a, a, a brick here with uh, two side studs uh, that then has projected out the uh, um, uh, round plate with a bar uh, into which then we use the plate with a um, clip uh, to get in the right spacing between each of these, the top. And then this entire unit itself uh, is then sitting, uh, uh, is uh, then sitting against this one by three tile, which is projected outwards, uh, and then using this uh, clip light to get a stud reversal, and then bring in a set, bring in some uh, bracket gym, bracket jumper and bracket gymnastics, and that is to connect into this. So here's here's the other version and the other side of this. And now you can see connected up into this, the uh, two by two panel. And the two by two panel then by using that, it means that this round thruster only has four and a half plates to fit in, uh, which is why we've got this, uh, such a, a, a complexity happening in the center to bring these in. Uh, they don't just sit uh, centered in the uh, two by two studs there, two by two stud root. So if I bring in the, bring in the tile to tile, like so, uh, and then connect up this bracket will come in the back of the um, uh, panel. All right. Okay, so looks like this. And then here, uh, we've got a, a two by four tile, uh, which can just sit on top. Okay, and this is actually the bottom. Uh, the other side, here's our friend, the, uh, here's the other cap uh, with those cornered panels. And this will then come along on top. 
Okay, so that sits, so that's going to come in on top. And then to latch that in, uh, we have this unit. So the just some plates, a, a slope and tile. And uh, this will then come along the top yeah. and provide a brace. Okay. Then uh, the other side of this looks like so. So the um, this is mostly this area is mostly studs up and some uh, the uh, bows and slopes and so on and so forth. Uh, important thing here is that the uh, then into this are a set of brackets and we begin to build out this direction, uh, which then has a projected plate downwards and a headlight. Uh, and that headlight uh, is going to connect in um, uh, back uh, into this stud. Okay. And then on this side, uh, we've got a mirror image of the uh, of the brackets. So we'll come in on the panel. over on this side and then tighten everything up underneath here and it looks like this uh, along the top uh, cutting for the cor color blocking uh, two of these opposed wedge plates uh, on top of some corner plates uh, and that'll get dropped in here And then finally, uh, these studs on each side uh, uh, then will allow us to connect in the final bits of the uh, shaping. So 18 degree slopes and some wedges. One side and then dark blue on the other side. Ta-da! Right, so uh, that's what our engines look like. Uh, we can go ahead and put in our engines. Uh, so did this earlier. Two of these. And uh, that's going to be connecting in here, down from below, on a series of studs back up in here. So uh, that's just going to take a little bit of finesse to get in place and then seal up down here from below. Nice. engines are there.